We are still watching ways now. Hugging, one of the simplest ways to show affection um, is some... <laughs> <laughs> it's something that people do when their love when their loved ones um, are around them and all of that. So, however, it's something that is not done, has not been done for how many years? Um, how many a years? Year a now. year plus now. So, um, we want to wish everybody and send them hair, um, air hugs. Oh, yeah. uh, because of COVID-19, we can't do hugging this or year. Or elbow but... hugs. <laughs> <laughs> There's no elbow <laughs> hugs. Oti, what did you find for us in the news today? Mm. Uti, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So we are sending you air hugs. So what did you find for us in the news today? Oh, fantastic. Okay. So, um, I mean, my story, uh, as we're hosting our very first CEO, I thought I'd find something um, business related. So the headline says Nigeria's biggest bank picks eight countries for expansion. Now, if you've been following any of the news um, in recent times, around the um, Africa continental free trade um, area and that that whole um, arrangement that has launched giving Africa the biggest um, you know the biggest free trade um, area in the world um, and literally this is uh, the bank now leveraging on that technology mm -hmm. to um, to essentially be able to um, expand the bank, and expand uh, their offerings. So they're immediately looking to go into eight countries. Um, and then following on from that, they will also be expanding into 22 more countries. So it's not really so much about the bank itself. It's really focusing on the opportunities that this um, free trade area basically allows us. So if you think about what has happened in the Eurozone um, and literally how that, what that has done for smaller European countries and what it has done in terms of strengthening the European continent as a whole. Um, this just shows how businesses can leverage on um, that trade um, agreement and this trade area mm -hmm. to be able to grow their scope of, of business um, and really to expand. So just I thought it was interesting seeing as we're going to be talking to to a CEO who, who was linked to said bank at some point. Yeah, it was linked to the financial sector. <laughs> All right, so uh, Tammy, what did you find for us in the news? Oh, yeah, um, excellent story right there. Um, yeah, you so know, with Brexit, we saw all the opportunities that small businesses have and all of that. So, I mean, we are discussing leadership today, right? So I thought this one um, was apt. So yesterday, you know, following only a few hours in office, President Biden signed about 17 executive orders, you know, in a move to strengthen migration, immigration um, and the travel ban and essentially prioritize um, racial equity. I was up till about 1.30, 2 a.m. just watching this happen. And it was such a joy to behold. You, you know, it was again. symbolic <laughs> of new hope and true leadership. And it's something I believe holds you know, a huge lesson for leaders everywhere in the world, public sector, private sector, social sector, all over the world, you mm -hmm. know, that a good leader resumes office with a plan. You know, so whether or not you agree with the fundamentals of his policy mindset or why he's doing what he's doing and all of that, my point is that he had a plan and he just got the ground rolling immediately. No blame shifting, no evasiveness no rhetoric of like blaming the previous administration or anything you know i'm not even american but i'm so proud you know and i just wanted to bring this before what do you what do you ladies think so i that? i think mm. you are not american this is the same question everybody has been asking <laughs> waiting concern nigerians with uh, <laughs> you know, oh, i think basically <laughs> whatever happens in america example. affects the world eh? you said what mm -hmm. what did, what did it, it's a I fantastic example of what should be mm -hmm. I think what America has shown us in this entire um, situation, whether you want to call it a catastrophe, whether you want to call it a triumph, depends on what side of the, of the divide you're on, it has mm -hmm. shown us the power of institutions, which is something we don't have in this country. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not about institutions. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. institutions are bigger than any person. Mm -hmm. If the president mm -hmm. cannot circumvent institutions nigeria would be a completely different country hmm. absolutely hmm. you see you're going to follow up on yesterday's story you took uh, still on leadership mm -hmm. and because of uh, the type of leadership we have in the in the north we are still complaining about the fact that um 
Hilux was given to repentant bandits. bandits. Mm -hmm. So we have another story today which says that we um, gunmen in Hilux vehicle given to repentant bandits in Zamfara State killed a senior military officer. And this is so painful because that's somebody's father, that's somebody's um, uncle. And not it's not even about the fact that this is somebody's uncle or uh, husband. It's the fact that it was given to the, um, it was the Hilux that was given by the so governor, used to barricade the, the governor of the um, Zamfara State. Matawali. Yes, exactly. He was the, 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 the what's it called, the, You've just made my mind go here now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's actually very sad, you know, because I listened to Tammy's mm -hmm. voice notes. Mm -hmm. um, Tammy, mm. maybe you should repeat what you said in the, <laughs> the voice note about the military. I, mm. it, it was really sad. I, mm -hmm. I just, hold on, it's just so painful. You know, growing up, attending, you know, Air Force Paramilitary mm -hmm. School, you know, your airmen, your soldiers, very gallant, you know, what they bring to the table, the way they're dressed, mm -hmm. the way they, you know, you see their parades. It's just an amazing stuff. You know, the military mm -hmm. is there as the conscience of democracy, as I say, as mm -hmm. the backbone of the country. Mm -hmm. You know, they defend our borders, they keep us as a sovereign entity. Mm -hmm. And then I just hear that, you know, what you, they're just being wasted. It you know, it's not general, even so. It's not even about you know, it. It's, of defense, what you pass and, you I know, think it's more the about the fact that the military uh, um, personnel that was wasted or, or that was killed was because it, the uh, bandits weren't given the vehicle in the first place. They wouldn't have been empowered or encouraged mm -hmm. to attack uh, uh, a, a government senior or officer. a, it's a, actually a very senior military government officer. Government needs to revisit the way. Yes, it's okay mm. to. Um, pardon, you know, former bandits and all mm. of that, but their integration back into society. I'm you know, coming, some of them have been brainwashed. Some I'm coming them, back to sure what I said you, yesterday. You know, no. And which is, they know can I get doing. a form, Governor of Zamfara, Zamfara State, State, Matawali? Can Matawali. I get a form to apply to become a bandit? Because we don't need to be bandits. I don't bandits. know how. We do not no, 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 need no. to be bandits. It, you've made it so lucrative. Mm -hmm. Now we are seeing that they are your, you, the same thing that you're using to mm -hmm. say, okay, this is um, um, incentive for you to renounce banditry and all of that. Mm -hmm. You're using that same tool to kill top military officers. Exactly. And this is just the beginning because they've not even seen it started More to yet. come. Yes. More to come. And like you said, like um, Abacha said, if the hand of the if government is, is not... It lasts, if a crime lasts yes. beyond 24 hours, the government the hand of is involved. The government There's is nothing in you it. can say about it's that. It's as simple as that. And this is a typical example. If the, if the vehicle hadn't been given to them in the first place, they wouldn't have attacked the military Even personnel. if they would have attacked, they would not in that magnitude. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll take a very short break. When we return, we'll be hosting our CEO. Stay with us. We'll be right back.